After a few days to pick through this piece of garbage Green New Deal, I have the breakdown in all its asinine glory. On Thursday, we were presented with the Green New Deal. But this is not a Green Deal, and it's not a New Deal. It's a raw deal for the American people. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Senator Edward Marquis, and 67 co-sponsors unveiled House Resolution 109 last week to applause and congratulations from everyone who lacks common sense and a basic understanding of economics. Now, before you get irritated that I'm talking about AOC, know that she is purposely being pushed to roll out this plan. H.R. 109 could be a chapter in Communist Manifesto 2.0. This is policy proposal, not her making a gaffe or writing a dumb tweet. What is explained in not just the resolution, but the overview in the FAQs, which we'll get to in a moment, all of this is the leftist party. It's no longer Democrats or liberals. They are leftists, and they need to be known as what they truly are because they are laying all of their cards face up on the table. And this bill is a primo example. H.R. 109 is supposed to save the world. And yet, it's a mere 2,000 words with less substance than several napkin haikus I've read. There's Hemingway, and then there's this bill. But as we know, we aren't supposed to find out about the truth until after a bill is passed. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. The one thing we find out in H.R. 109 is the overarching agenda of the leftists. The bill refers to the systemic injustices, you know, race, class, gender, and all that stuff affecting frontline and vulnerable communities. These communities, mentioned more than a half dozen times, are indigenous, of color, migrant, deindustrialized, depopulated rural, poor, low-income workers, women, elderly, unhoused, people with disabilities, and youth. So who's left, or rather left out? White men. As if that would be a shock at this point with all of the attacks being done in the past two years. The real substance, the true reveal of the new Communist Manifesto is in the FAQs, which was given to NPR and then promptly removed by AOC's office because it revealed a little too much truth. Some are calling it gaffes. She called it a draft, but it actually contained their honest thoughts. The policymakers assembled. <laughs> Watch her heart go planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! You know they did that. And they look to Ocasio-Cortez as being Captain Planet. She's our hero. She's going to put pollution down to zero. She's our powers magnified. And she's fighting on the planet's side. Yes, that's a theme song. And yes, that's my childhood in a nutshell. The Green New Deal is a 10-year plan. So within one decade, we will mobilize every aspect of American society at a scale not seen since World War II to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions to create economic prosperity for all. To do this, we must get rid of all fossil fuels, meaning goodbye to 99% of cars and all airplanes. Yes, Senator Maisie Hirono, that would be pretty hard for Hawaii. We simply can't reach you anymore, unless we can use big boats. A ship, if you will. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> and Leo's not the only thing sinking. With no combustion engine vehicles, we'll have to find charging stations for electric vehicles. But there's no explanation of how power plants will provide the energy, because nuclear is not allowed either. What will poor Leo do without his private jet to fly him around the world to lecture us on climate change? How will his heart go on? For the rest of us, it looks like this will be our new mode of transportation. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're the modern Stones family. But there's more. Just as the Flintstones dinosaurs went extinct, we will find ourselves asking, where's the beef? Because we must get rid of farting cows. Yes, the Planeteers wrote farting cows. Luckily, we have a solid strategy in place to take them down. She's sleeping. What you do is you put your shoulder into her and you push. And they fall over. <laughs> and this doesn't strike you as kind of dumb. You may call it dumb, and you'd be correct. Also expect upgrading all existing buildings in the United States and building new buildings to achieve maximal energy efficiency. That's verbatim from HR 109. Every single building will be upgraded using smart grids and electrification. Now, if you're thinking, 
but how can this be done? Don't ask questions. Just get in the groove and boogie woogie woogie. You gotta feel it. It's a we are supposed to rally around knowing that Americans love a challenge and that this is our moonshot. They are trying to make a comparison with President Kennedy saying Americans would land on the moon by the end of the 1960s. JFK said that in 1961 to a joint session of Congress. Our current president recently also said something powerful in front of a joint meeting of Congress. America was founded on liberty and independence and not government coercion, domination, and control. We are born free and we will stay free. Ocasio-Cortez and her sisters may have been busy with the in vogue pose to fully hear it. So to reiterate. Tonight, we renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. You can wear white in solidarity with your sisters or wear green for your garbage. But if this bill passes, we'll all be wearing communist red. Fellow members of Congress are getting behind the Green New Deal. The who's who of 2020 candidates lined up to sing the praises. Kamala Lama Ding Dong, Spartacus, 11024th, and Comrade Sanders. The gang's all there. But someone not running because she'd break a hip is Nancy Pelosi. After being questioned on the bill, Pelosi said, and I quote, the green dream or whatever they call it, nobody knows what it is, but they're for it, right? Woo such shade. I think it is a green dream. And I think that uh, it is, it is. It is. It is a nightmare. This bill guarantees clean energy, no car or air travel, government guaranteed jobs, free education from cradle to grave, safe, affordable housing, healthy food and access to nature, as if we all live in bubbles right now. And the big question of who is going to pay for this? We don't know, but we will have economic security for all who are unable or unwilling to work. If that's the case, then I'll just sit back and rake in my freebies, and so will everyone else. Because the Federal Reserve can extend credit to power these projects, and at the end of the day, this is an investment in our economy that should grow our wealth as a nation. So the question isn't how we will pay for it, but what will we do with our new shared prosperity? Easy. We will start using our dollars as wallpaper, like in the Weimar Republic, and then we'll all lose 20 pounds like today's Venezuelans because we can't afford food. It's clear that Ocasio-Cortez and the Planeteers got their information from junior high history textbooks and Netflix documentaries, of which hers will be available soon after the rights were sold for $10 million on the same day the Green New Deal was announced. And this is just a few weeks after Netflix announced an increase in cost to consumers. I'm sure all of that money will be donated to help achieve the green dream. So thank you, comrades. Go read the resolution for yourself and decide if this is the America you want to live in. Because there is no hiding anymore, no laughing it off, thinking the sane Democrats and Republicans are going to save you. They won't. This will become the American truth, meaning there is no longer an America. The leftist party is showing you their hand, and you decide if you care about the republic to do something, or if you're okay with complete government takeover. Just make a choice while you still have the ability to make one. Until next time, stay healthy, America.